Hello guys and welcome to this installment of AA Computers and Technology. Right in front of me you can see the Lenovo ThinkPad X220 that I purchased last week off eBay. I made a video last week all about this. If you want to check the video out, it will be down in the description. Long story short, unfortunately, as you guys can tell by the title, this laptop just wasn't for me. And it's not that I don't like the X220. The X220 is a great machine, very well built, uh, performance is great, the touchscreen and digitizer are super accurate on Ubuntu and Windows 10. The one thing I couldn't get over though was the screen size. The screen size is just too small. It's 12.5 inches. I mean, the display is beautiful. It's a 1366 by 768 display, uh, IPS display. Um, but unfortunately, when I tried to drag two windows side by side, I, I couldn't comfortably view both windows. And with the T430, the screen size is just the right size where that isn't the problem. But with the X220, I cannot view, I cannot comfortably view two windows side by side. And because of that, and because of my pretty poor eyesight, I just could not use this 12.5 inch display on the go every single day for the next, you know, however long I decided to keep this computer. So instead of using this, I decided it's time to give my mom a little upgrade. So. This Latitude 2120 is what my mom has been using for, I believe, the past year. I also made an overview video on this uh, last year. If you want to check that out, the link to that will also be down in the description. This is a really rugged little netbook, um, quad-core, not quad-core, it's a dual-core atom with four threads, two gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, Intel integrated graphics, and as you can see, it's a nice portable form factor. Um, speaking of screen size, though, uh, my mom has been complaining that the screen is a little bit too small on this netbook. Uh, the screen I believe on this is 10.5 inches, whereas the screen on the ThinkPad X220 is 12.5 inches. So this is gonna be an upgrade for her as far as hardware is concerned, uh, performance, and screen size. So in order to get this machine up and running, there's a couple things I need to do first. So the first thing I need to do is throw in this 60 gigabyte S60 solid state drive from Silicon Power. Now, I've been using Silicon Power drives for a very long time, never had any problems with them. Uh, there's actually a 120 gigabyte Silicon Power drive in the system right now, but that's my drive. I want it back. I use that for testing, uh, and she'll be fine with this 60 gigabyte drive uh, since she's gonna be using a pretty light operating system. Now, the operating system that she's currently using is basically a Chrome OS clone. It's called uh, Cloud Ready by Neverware. Very simple OS. Uh, it's basically a, a web browser, uh, and she, through that, she can uh, open up her emails, you know, go on Pinterest, uh, look at Facebook, that kind of thing. Um, so that's really all she needs. So I'm going to install Cloud Ready on this machine. Uh, we're going to leave it in its stock configuration with a dual core second gen i5 and 4 gigs of RAM. I mean, this machine has 2 gigs of RAM, and 4 gigs of RAM is really all she's going to need. Also, I found out that the battery life with the uh, battery that came with the laptop is actually okay. I'm getting about three hours of battery life out of the uh, used battery, so I'm just gonna stick with that. I mean, there's no point in replacing the battery. She mainly just uses these laptops around the house, um, so she only needs, you know, like an hour or so of battery life. Okay, so I successfully installed that S60 solid state drive, and now I'm just booting off a flash drive, which I have a cloud-ready image on. This is really easy to set up. They actually have a uh, installer that you can just download, uh, run, and then it will install Cloud Ready to a USB flash drive for you, and then you just boot up into Cloud Ready, select your boot device, and come on, any second. Now, we are using USB 2.0, so it's going to be a little sluggish right now, uh, but it should give us a live environment, and from there, we can proceed with the install process. And here we are, an X220T plus an instance of Cloud Ready and a 60 gigabyte solid state drive makes the perfect laptop for my mom. Now, I knew I would probably run into an issue with either the touchscreen or the digitizer, and guess what, I did. Um, so for some reason, the digitizer only works on and off. I'm not really sure why, that's kind of frustrating because I like the digitizer, honestly. My mom's probably never gonna use this. She's probably just gonna use the touch screen. So the fact that the touch screen works is enough, um, but I would have liked to see better support for the digitizer. As you can see, digitizer and the pen are not working right now, unfortunately. But if I try to just use my finger, as you can see, the touch screen aspect works just fine and that's nice and responsive, nice and quick and everything opens up very fast. I actually signed her in already so I don't want to give away like any of her information. Uh, we'll open up an instance of Chrome. As you can see, that was really fast. We'll go to YouTube. 
Just browse around here. I mean, there's a demo of this online already, so I'm not going to stick on this too long. What if I go to my channel? Okay. Uh, no, don't don't show notifications. So AA, I just want to give you guys a general sense of system performance. So we'll navigate to my channel, play back one of the videos. I mean, as you can see, web browsing is very quick on this machine. And sound does work. Oops. Oh, I forgot the touch screen works. Oh, that's not what I want to touch. This one. There we go. So there we go. This laptop is ready to go, ready to hand it over to my mom. I'm not actually going to show that because for some reason, when I, I did a similar thing with um, Scott. Uh, it was uh, Scott a while ago. I, I gave him a T60, and a lot of people got angry that I actually showed uh, the moment where I gave him the laptop. For, uh, for some reason, they thought it was kind of showy, like I was showing off. So I don't, I don't want to do that with my mom because I don't want to. I don't want to have to deal with all those comments again. So yes, this will be going to my mother. No, I'm not going to actually show the uh, transition. But the Latitude 2120 is sitting over there along with my 120 gigabyte solid state drive. And that is ready to be sold on eBay because I have absolutely no use to it. So this machine's ready to go. All around, easy upgrade. Really, really nice machine for my mom. As I said in my last video about this X220T, I mean, this thing looks brand new. If the camera would focus on it, there we go. As you can see, not a scratch or mark inside this laptop. There's one tiny scratch on the top right here. A couple scratches. I'm not really sure what that's from. Um, but besides that, this laptop looks brand spanking new. Uh, once again, very powerful machine. Uh, plenty of battery life, good screen, good keyboard, and this is ready to go. So that's going to be about it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment down in the comment section. If you want to support me, you can use my Amazon or eBay affiliate links. Those links will also be uh, in the description. Um, what else? Oh, so I didn't really talk about Cloud Radio and where you can get it. I will put the link... Uh, to the Cloud Ready website down in the description. So if you want to check Cloud Ready out, it's really easy to use and install. Um, I will put the link down there. And of course, don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like it, please tell me why. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And I always forget something here. And that is the fact that we do have a Facebook page. If you want to uh, stay up to date with everything AA Computers and Technology, there is a Facebook page. So that link will be in the description as well. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.